Good morning and welcome to another episode of Elm Creek. This guy looks very mad on his morning walk. Anyway, um, we don't have anything on my farm to do today, but on the other farm we do. Sorghum is ready to harvest. It is September 2nd. Actually, it's September 2nd. Sorghum does not get harvested in September. No, it does. We've already harvested the sorghum. The soybeans get harvested. We, the blue line right there is where we are. There's only three things that can be harvested. There's grapes, sorghum, we've already harvested sorghum, potatoes, and then we've already planted our wheat and bar, or our wheat. So, a lot of things go for harvest in October, November. I know there are soybeans in those fields, so I know we're going to be harvesting in the next episode for sure. Maybe even in this one, so... But... For the sake of this Let's Play, we're going to be using manual, just because it's just a little easier. Um, I got this truck running, everything took it to the shop, you know, everything seems fine. And one thing I do need to look at, um, I do need to look at the daily sales. I know we don't need one of them. Um, <laughs> we need a combine harvester very badly. You know, I got I got my pay from yesterday. You know, I'm making a couple grand a day. You know, I'm at 65 grand now, I'm making 350 an hour. That's off work too. The guy's very generous. He pays everyone all that. But um, yeah, um, we're going to definitely need to get something. We're going to need to figure out what we're doing today. But anyway, um, we're going to figure out what we're doing today because I think, right, because I think we did the rolling, we're probably going to be planting today. So, I don't know. He, he likes storing a lot of crops, but the farm is going to be up for sale here soon, so I don't know kind of wanting to buy the farm, too. I'm not sure how much he's going to ask for it, but I'm going to need the money, so hopefully the wheat that we make, he'll, we can sell. I, if I'm not wrong, wheat sells the best. So wheat right now is probably at its, one of its lowest. It's September. Actually, it goes higher, so in January. <laughs> It, uh, it, it really, uh, it really, uh, you know, it sells really good in January. Eventually, we will buy this place, Green Mill. It's up for sale. I think it's 50 grand. I don't have a reason to buy it right now, considering the wheat's still on the ground, and it's not worth the money, and we're, tr we're still, we're still trying to buy a harvester. I don't want to have to use my boss's harvester, because, you know, we're, it's going to be a busy time that time of year, so, uh, yeah. He's here today. He's probably not going to be doing anything like he usually does, but, you know, the place needs rolled. This, the field he loves doing is, you know, the big field, so. These two do need cultivated. Field 9 needs cultivated, too, I know. So, we'll probably be cultivating and rolling them today, I'm assuming. Yeah, because field, the canola field weathered. So yeah, I think he wants everything to be cultivated and enrolled so we can get ready for planting, which we need to hurry up and plant because these are the last things we can plant until spring, which actually, not that bad. I mean, if he's planning on doing oats or soybeans again, we could do that in spring, but winter wheat, we would need to get that in the ground as soon as possible. Canola, eh, if he wants to do that, he can. But winter wheat, that needs to get in the ground as soon as possible if he's planning on doing that, so... He needs to get the winter wheat going if we're doing it. Which, I don't think he is. I think he's told me from what he's planning is just, it's just gonna be oats. I think he's gonna do, well, I don't think we can do winter wheat now. No, we can. September and October. So yeah, I think he said he's gonna do field one and two. Those are both gonna be winter wheat. The rest is gonna be oats, either oats or 
um, soybeans, which he's thinking maybe one field of oats and a field of soybeans, and he's going to do some winter wheat as well. Probably just some, but I don't know. But we're here in the 7R, the nice case cultivator. So we'll be probably just cultivating and rolling today. Um, it's a nice September morning, I do know that. You know, very beautiful morning, I must say. Small field, too. I can see if he wants to do winter wheat on Oh, that is... I hope he knows that this is in the field, because... Don't... Yeah, I can't get around that. I hope he knows. Um... Interesting. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't see that there before. Um... <laughs> He's got a very, 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 very... Did I say very enough? I don't think I did. Very nice selection of vehicles and machines on the farm. So... Room to expand is what I'm looking at. So... He's got a perfectly good-sized farm. Enough to make millions. Eh, probably not millions, but enough to, you know... To buy new machinery, you know. He's not gonna... He says he's not gonna buy new machinery. Probably a new cultivator, so... Honestly, I would buy this if it just if we have the right amount of horsepower, which I, we have probably not enough at all. If I look here, we we don't even have enough, so we would definitely have to look at a bigger tractor if we're going to do that. I want to get something bigger, but like I said, there's a particular combine I'm looking at getting, but I need the money to buy it first, and I don't have the money to buy it, so I'm just probably going to have to use that, that or if I uh, can, because he does bonuses, so there might be a September bonus, for all I know, I don't know, we'll know in the next episode, he, he's been talking about giving us September bonuses, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars, if I'm not wrong there, uh, you know, he gets paid by the town, because, you know, farmers in this area do get paid by the town. Which is why I get so much money coming in. I get, you know, the 350 I get paid for being here to work all the time and all that. I think that's why he charges so much to give to his employers because the town pays for, pays for the farmers. Because, you know, the, the town is a pro-farming town. Like, this town lives off farmers, and the town just thanks them all the time by giving them money to fund their farm. That's why whenever I bought my farmland and already had equipment, the town was like sending me letters saying, Hey, we're going to be giving you money. It's just It's going to be a little bit, but it should be enough to keep you uh, in the farming biz. So, But big. it just depends on the size of your farm and how much money you get. I only get a couple... Like 200 bucks a month or a week or something like that. That's about almost a thousand bucks a month. That's not bad. I can live off that. Honestly, I, I wouldn't even need the money from them either. So, but it's just the town giving back to the farmers that pretty much run the place. I mean, this place is ran by farmers and is farmers. You can tell by the map that I just pulled up there. Um, but yeah, it's this 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 farm is ran by farmers for farmers, and it's not and nothing else is gonna change that. So you know, it's it's here to stay. You know, it is here to stay. Now he is saying that he would like to do field nine. Just got a text on my phone. He's saying he would like to do field nine. So I guess I'll take the tractor up there. He'll do it from there. Now, we're actually running a disc harrower. I think it's this one right here, yep. This is a nice one right here, too, uh, But... He wants to do field 9, so be it. We'll, do field, we'll let him do field 9, then we'll come up with the roller as he's working on it. So, we'll come up and roll and all that, so... You know, do all that. It's a very beautiful farm, though. The soybeans are going to be ready in the next video, so we'll probably be harvesting that and then cultivating it. I think by then we'll actually have our September bonus, as he calls it. I don't know. 
I am a new farmer, so I doubt I'll get him. He definitely, he, he says he always gives out December bonuses, which is the Christmas bonus. I think he, he gives that to everyone. He only has, like, three workers, too, and... Actually, I think it's two. The other one, he left a couple months before I came. I think he left July, the, my, the, Gary said. I, that's my boss's name, if you guys are wondering, Gary. Um, he's, uh, he had his, one of his, one of the three, now it's two. Me and some other guy that works full-time, just like me. But, he quit in July. You know, he, it was his time to, he was moving out of here. Going to a new place. You know, it was his time to move on with his life. So, he, he worked here for a good many years. But, you know, gotta do what you gotta do, so... Yep. I know he said he's gonna go ahead and cultivate and roll that field. Now, we're rolling the field that he's going to cultivate after we're done with this one, so he did say that. And he is getting that new fence put up uh, this November, so we're gonna see that mid-November, probably on the November 2. You're gonna see it up there. This is September 2. Um, we're probably gonna see that up there, so, you know, gotta keep us... Gotta keep ourselves busy. Yeah, I don't want to destroy the soybeans. Canola was already withered. That's bad enough. But I think last day to harvest canola is on August. In August, and it's September, so we... Just a little too late on that, but oh well. That's that's whatever. Can't, can't really do too much about it. Just, it sucks. Gotta deal with it, you know? Very nice. Morning to near morning, though. Not too bad this morning. I love it. The sun is shining a little cloudy, you know. You know, we haven't been in town to see what there is. I think after my shift today, we'll head straight to town. See what all there is. Because we have not hit the town at all yet. I would love to see what's in town. I heard there's a nice farm on Main Street. Oh, I'm not sure if it's for sale. Three fields. Uh, nice barn couple sheds I think um, no house there 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 was a house there but it's not there so not anymore so yeah anything else with it? sorry for that anyway um yeah it's very very nice town from what I've heard I just, I haven't seen it you know I I've done anything off camera, I've just been settled back in my home. Me down there at the bottom left around 35, plot 35 area. You're gonna see that's where we came in at, and then we kept going straight and up near plot 18 is where we got off at and got back on around 23, and then we got off right right after 26, 27 plots. And our plots are the highlighted in blue 20 and 21 of them. We're up by plot 1 through 10 up at the top left at Mossy Pine Ranch. Very nice place, I should say, to mention. So, um, okay, he just said he's up there waiting for us up there at the uh, field. He walked one by while we were turned around. I guess I missed him. <laughs> um, yeah, he's, he's up there waiting. So we'll take that up to him and hand it over to him, and he'll do what he needs to do. So, uh, yeah. Um, can I fit through here while this is folding? I should be able to. We'll walk back down to the farm, grab the... Uh, I hope it doesn't care about that sign. Not sure what it says. Oh, it's just a farm sign. Okay. This is a private road anyway. It shouldn't matter. Alright. I guess we can unfold this again. Yeah, he, he loves his white fence, if you didn't notice. <laughs> yeah. Alright, dude. There you go. Alright, I'll see you guys when we get the roller. Alright, we have reached the 7810, which will be, uh... Uh, ro 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 rolling with. Yeah. Um, we'll be rolling with it. Nice, nice size roller, too, actually. I really like the... You eat my... Good old sandwich here. Yeah. Good sandwich. Just taking the cheese on. It's not my favorite. 
Um, I love this tractor. If I can ever buy from them or buy the farm with equipment, I would totally do it just for this tractor. Now that's now this is a very nice tractor, but there are some very nice equipment on this farm. So, yeah. But uh Ah, I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> Alright, let's get her in the ground here. But, no. Yeah. To be honest, I'm feeling a very nice time lapse. Let's do one.
All right, so we're almost done there. Mr. Gary here, he uh, finished cultivating for us and he parked over there and he's just waiting for me to finish up so we can trade, so we can roll this field. He said he's gonna go ahead and do that for us. Cause you know, like I say, this is his favorite field. I don't know why, the big one. He calls it the big one. <laughs> but he's waiting there in the tractor. He said he's gonna get out and He'll let me move that one and I'll get this one in position for him to go. And then we'll head down to the farm and back down to the main yard and go. He said after we're done rolling, that's it for the day. <laughs> it's not a it's not a busy farm. I mean, you know, you got little work here and there. That that's about it, you know. It's it's not much, but it's enough to get get bills paid, get your everything paid, you know? <laughs> we'll get this thing here set up for him. Be nice, so. And I'll get this uh, tractor moved here. Yep, look. She's all set up for you. Yep, anyway. She's gonna start. There we go. This deal with 7R, she tends to not want to start sometimes. So, yeah, I'll see you guys back at the main yard. All right, we're heading back now. Um, he's back there getting done. He's thinking about getting a bigger tractor to do that. So he might be selling that tractor now. We don't need it, sadly. We already have a good tractor, and it's a very nice tractor. Um, so, and we'd be downgrading if we bought that. Now that tractor is very nice, but horsepower wise it's lower, so we would technically be downgrading. So but everything is ready for winter wheat now. You said probably come back later today or tomorrow. We'll get some wheat planted in a few fields. You know, to put away. So that's what we'll be doing. That's his plan. So, guy, the guy's a good guy. He's very smart, too. Um, he knows how to run farms, tend to money. So, smart guy. Um, maybe one day we'll own this place. I don't know. Maybe one day we'll sell the other farm, move here, and have a nice house, ranch, if you call it. An Umasi Pine Ranch. Eh, only a dream. Anyway, um... We are better off now heading back to the... Actually, well not back to home, but to town, actually. We're gonna go ahead and uh, drive to town now. Um... This truck... This truck zips. She really does. Oh, there he is. Beautiful horn, too. Um, okay, so... We are gonna drive down Main Street of town, I guess. Or just explore the area a little. Explore town, you know. Get to... Get to know the area, at least, so we know what we're doing. Um, now, I'm not sure exactly what all they they have, um, but, you know, uh, okay, thank you, but, uh, yeah, um, I don't think we want to get on the highway here, is this guy going to convert lanes, nope, I'm just going to pass him. should be a road right here. I want to turn onto it. Yeah, I tell you, the people around here, they drive just a little crazy. Crazier than me, I would I would say. Um, yeah. But I think over here, there's a couple factories. There's a baseball stadium. I, yeah. So we could check all that out, you know. Nice little area, I see. Wow. Oh, they got a dairy. This looks like the stadium. Ah, yes. Um, where is the parking? Can I just park anywhere? 
there's no signs that say don't park. Oh, I'm parking right here. Ain't no one's stopping me. Anyway. Nice stadium. Wow. Pretty. Frizzy Spiz Zero. New. Okay. Looks like another entrance right there. Redford Park. This is Elm Creek. Uh, who plays? Uh, the Elm Creek Wolves. Ooh. Elm Creek Wolves. It looks like they're... Might be parking right over here. Um, ooh, there's... I guess they got a game for us. <laughs> uh, what a buff man. Chad. <laughs> uh, got a dugout. I'm not sure if I should be down there, but... Um, yeah, anyway. Um, I totally not going so suspicious right now. Um, let's, let's take a look at the bleachers, you know. Nice place. What a view. Wow. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Redford Park. Oh, someone left their toy here. Hmm. Thousand dollars. Oh, this must be one of those like uh a collectible things. Like if you pick it up, there's a thousand dollars inside. One of those prizes. Okay. It says there's a bunch more of them here. Or, well, not here, but around Elm Creek in the area surrounding the town. Interesting. That's actually really cool. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. And, like, I don't think it was in Ravenport at all. Not Well, I think in Spectacle Island there was gold, but, I mean, the place was a natural gold island. I say it was because Spectacle Island is no longer there. It's flooded out, and it's... Not sure if the water level ever went back down, but if it did, there's probably nothing because everything's gone. So, uh, yeah. Um. Trying to scratch my belly. Oh, hit a sign. Good thing I have that bull bar guard or whatever. There's a grocery store. Uh, nothing coming. Alright. Well, let's see. I hate to be a snooper, but I wonder if some of those toys are around back. Better find out. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter where parking is. I don't even have parking spots. Nice little truck. I like this truck. All right. Um, grocery mart. More to that. That fizzy sizzy extreme must be new around here. Clearly it is. Oh, there's something up there. Let me climb up this ladder. Ooh, oh, it's another. It's a water trailer with another thousand dollars inside. Okay, cool. So there must be a lot of different types of things you can collect. So uh, yeah, looks like it's over. Uh, a lot of these posters around here. <laughs> yeah, I love Elm Creek. That's a pro farming town, and I love that so much. Looks like laundry mat. Yep, laundry mat. All right. Well, I didn't really want to do anything here. Just you know, see. I do know there's a grocery store now. I don't know why I didn't know that for the like, uh, month or two I've been here. And now, uh, cause I've been getting my groceries from uh, I don't know, one of those apps, whatever. I don't even know. I think I was someplace over by the stadium. I don't know why I ever looked at this place so much. Well, no, I knew that was there because I passed it on the highway, so I had to have known it was there, right? Wow. I think that's the Main Street farm that everyone's talking about for sale. That seems to be really nice. What's this? Sorry, I'm stopping for almost everything because I want to see what all there is. Cody's store, to Cody's, to oh, it's Toy Store. I remember Toy Stores back in my day. Then again, my day was late 90s to early 2000s. <coughs> Interesting. So, what, what kind of poster they got going on here? 
Discover our wooden collections, check classics such as trains, blocks, and rocking are back. Um, uh, gift timeless joy for this Christmas. Grandchild will thank you, as will the whatever. Avoid plastic, save the planet. Cool. Ask our staff for special collector's items. And they got a big sale up to 50% off. So you got ooh, ice cream. Wow. Now, those don't look like kids' toys. If it's, well, technically, I guess they are, but those are big boy toys. Big kid toys. Um, what's up the street here? What's this? Doesn't say. Fair enough. Alright. Uh, cool. I didn't know there was a toy store. Might have to send that to some of my cousin's children. Get them a souvenir from Elm Creek. Uh, ooh. Got a Mexican place, a taco place. Mi familia. I hoping I said that right. It's probably in Spanish. Mexican speak Spanish, not Mexican, just so you guys know. Uh, we got a bakery or Westbrook Rest Hill Bread. Honestly, I heard they have some good bread. I might come up here sometime and check that out, see if that's true. Uh, walking up the street more. Looks like a house in a field. Alright, um. Let's, let's run back to the truck. It's a very nice main street. Reminds me of some place a couple hours away from here. You follow the highway up. It's in some place called. Goldcrest Valley? I don't know. It's a nice place I heard. So. I'm not sure if it's worth a trip, but maybe one day we'll go there. I don't know. Um. I'm just guessing out here. Alright. Um. Let's, let's set up the road more and see what all there is. Um. Looks like that might be it. Because I think. Oh, wait, what's this on the left? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Nice house. Uh, more of that soda. Alright, that must be... Um, some giant factory. <laughs> what's this? There's a toy right there, I see. This is a sign place. Hand-painted signs, professional. We could get one. We could get a professional sign to put outside our thing. For, to advertise for the thing. Now, I'm sure they put that toy there, because I think most places were given, uh, given a nice, uh, one of these toys to put on things, so might be able to jump on top of the truck and get up here and grab it. Uh, come on. Uh, ooh! You know, why not find them? Not sure anyone else who knows it. Did I get it? Let's get a little closer. And uh, I feel very childish right now, trying to get a toy with a thousand bucks in it. You know, I kind of need the money, you know? I'm saving up for a harvester, you know? I can use the money just as much as anyone else. Oh, there we go. Got it. Sweet. Oh, can I get up here? I cannot. All right. Got another one, and I'm building up a collection down there. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, I think the store's on this road, too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm not mistaken, because right there it is. Clever Motors. Not bad, not bad. Let's see if they've added anything to be on sale. They didn't sell that little machine. I think they get daily sales for used vehicles every day, so there's a different one, different ones, different one every day. So, oh, there's the dude that does the, this is the garage, there's the guy that delivers the stuff. Here's his truck and trailer and uh, skids here. This must be his little, the little office for the place to sign your life away or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> but, you, you, you know what I mean, don't, yeah. <laughs> A lot more houses, trailer, 
Don't know what that is. Probably a restaurant, house, fire department. All right, cool. House, house, house. Ooh, gas station. Looks good enough. Oh, we got a diner. I think it's a fast food place too. Cool. I like that. Is it fast food? No, it's not. I thought it was. Oh, but they got a gas station. That's good enough. I like gas station food sometimes. Garrison. Cool. Gas station food's not that bad. Just depends on what you get, you know? Anyway, um... Seems to be it for Main Street, because we're back at the uh, Main Street Farm, as they call it. Like they said, it's three fields. These three fields you can see here yonder. So, uh, yeah. Not a bad farm. Three tiny fields, though, from what I've heard. But good fields. I heard they have very nice soil. Just no one wants to buy the farm because it's not in the best spot. Main Street is busy. All the time. That is not the road I'm looking for. Um... And not everybody wants to have a farm on Main Street. And honestly, I wouldn't care. A farm's a farm. So I just want to be able to farm, you know. I want to expand my, uh, I, I'll call it an empire because why not? It sounds cool. Um, my empire farm. So, I want to build it. I want to build it a lot. I'm looking for a Doyce Far combine because they're cheap and they have good header sizes. So, hopefully, the September bonus, if I get it, will come in handy. I'm sure he is because I am only one of two employees. So, I'm sure I will get it. But that's going to do it for today, folks. I just wanted to drive around town a little bit, explore the new area that we're in. And just get some morning work done. I don't know. I might see you guys later today. Maybe. I don't know. Depends if we get any work in. But until the next episode. I will see you guys in the next one. So. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next one. And. Peace out guys.